welcome to this video. First of all, Merry Christmas. I hope that all of you are good, that you aren't sick and that everything everything is fine. Special thanks to Lock24 and Jetro for uh, showing me this option. But today I want to talk with you about the option to control the LEGO Boost sets or the LEGO Boost robots, the uh, 17101 LEGO Boost Creative Toolbox and the 75253 LEGO Star Wars Boost Droid Commander with the 88010 remote control. You can either get this remote control directly from LEGO for 25 euros or dollars, uh, something along the lines of that, or you can get it a bit cheaper on Bricklink. And it's possible to connect the remote control directly to the LEGO Boost robots to one at a time so that you don't have to have a smartphone or something similar in between and so that you can remote control them. First, I will show it with the older set. When we press the green buttons, we will get into the pairing mode and we have to press the green button of the LEGO Boost robot again to get into the remote control pairing process and then it will pair with the remote control. So first press the buttons once and then again of the robot and then the, they should find themselves. And they did that. So now both of them are connected. We can drive around. It's only full speed control, so you can't get faster or something like that. It will always give full power. So we can drive around. We can also turn the sliders around if it doesn't move into the direction that we want. Then the directions would be inverted. But so far, we only control the main motor. The motors that are included into the hub. But we can also control the motor that moves the head. The motors on C and D if we have motors on both pod. And we, we can do that by pressing the middle button of the, or the center button of the remote for a short time. Then it will switch to the pods C and D. And this one can control the motor. Of course, we can't do anything with this button or with this slider because of that would control the color and distance sensor and that wouldn't make any sense. But it's possible to drive around and you can press the green button again to switch back and then you can drive again. That works pretty well. Well, make sure that your LEGO Boost Hub is on the current firmware if it doesn't work for you. So you have to download the Boost app or the Powered Up app and connect the hub to the app. Then it will make a firmware upgrade if it isn't on the latest version. And then you can use the remote. I'll show that it'll work with the other robot as well, with, with R2D2. Oh, to disconnect, you have to press the center button until both lamps are off. Now I can connect to R2D2. Same process, press both button once, then the button of the R2D2 again. And then it connects. This time it chose the color yellow. I'm not sure if you can see it, but you can drive around as well. Oh, it's uh, currently in the... It already moves the head, so it's for port C and D. We can press the center button and it will get, go back to A and B. And now we can drive around just like with the other robot. Anyways, that was it for this video. I hope that you liked it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next part. And um, I'm currently making a powered up tutorial. You can program the remote and the hubs and stuff like that in the powered up app. So you can check that out if you want. Thanks for watching and see you in the next part. Bye.